This is the Sun 24 inch traditional electric tricycle and its little brother or sister, <laughs> the Liberty trike. Uh, these are both, um, I guess it would be delivered or fulfilled by electric bike technologies. These are the guys that also do e-bike kit and electrictrike.com. Uh, it's really neat to see you know, a couple trikes. This is sort of a rarity in the world of electric bikes, but the type of machine that, that really enables people who might not have the same stability um, as they did when they were younger, or maybe they got injured or something. These are both just so unique and, and really just a lot of fun, a lot of fun to ride. So Sun is an, another company that makes this tricycle frame. Okay, and the traditional, it's one of their most popular models. See, it's got this really wide, kind of oversized, they call it a Western style saddle, and maybe because it's kind of like a, a, a horse, like a saddle on a horse, it's got these extra support struts back here. Just really strong, really nice, and a fairly, fairly thick um, seat tube as well. So just nice, it comes in six different colors. This nice red here, you've got black, got blue and then kind of like a pinkish and sort of a, a seafoam green kind of color the 24 in the name I mentioned earlier uh, is really talking about these wheels here these are 24 by 1.75 so they're not super duper thin but they're still gonna be efficient they're not gonna create a whole lot of drag or noise when you ride all the tires are the same size but you might notice that the spokes on that front wheel are extra thick, extra extra sturdy, because you've got this massive 500 watt gearless front hub motor. It's very quiet. There aren't any gears moving parts in there to wear out over time. This is kind of what they consider bulletproof in the electric bike space. You can see that power cable coming right out there on the right axle and then zip tied to the frame. They've done a really good job just adding this kit in a way that doesn't stand out too much. And you can see there's a little bit of extra wiring up here, but it's just, it's really tight, it's really clean. They do sell this kit separately. So maybe you have this trike already that you got from Sun Bicycles in years past, or maybe you're not sure if you want electric, and then eventually you, you decide you do. Again, e-bike kit, they sell this exact kit and they call it the e-trike kit. And what makes it unique is that it offers reverse in addition to forward. Top speed is about 14 miles per hour, but you also get to determine how fast you wanna go just using this little button pad here. So you can arrow up all the way to level five, or you can arrow down to one, or even turn it completely off and just use that display as like a kind of a cycle computer, letting you know how fast you're going, how far you've gone. It's a really neat system, and you know I can appreciate that Although this was not a purpose-built electric bicycle, meaning that you know the wires are run through the frame and everything's just you know beautiful that way, th I think they've done a lot in terms of beautifying it as a sort of add-on. And you can buy this, and they'll ship it direct to your door, completely assembled like this, ready to ride with the key and the ignition. All you have to do is take it out of this big box and go. The trike I was weighing it earlier, you know, without the battery. Um, the battery is about 7.1 pounds, and then when we put the battery back on, we weighed the whole thing. It's only about 75 pounds, which was impressive to me because most two-wheel electric bikes, they weigh about, you know, 50 to 60 pounds. So, you know, you're adding a whole extra wheel. You're adding this steel basket. It's got kind of a rubberized coating, a lot of space in here. And you might think like, oh, is the battery safe? Well, it has an aluminum casing. It's actually very sturdy and the key has this little folding design, so it, it's designed not to get bent. You can take that off the trike fairly easily if you want to, charge it separately. There's this real simple plug on the back, you just pull it out like that, and then you twist this key all the way like this, and then you just you slide it out. One thing that you wanna be careful of, though, is if you're sliding it out like this, you wanna make sure that key is out because once you reach this point right here, it might get snagged on the basket. I love that they've got these big reflectors, one in the back, one in the front, just to keep you safe. They've got this nice shiny steel fender, keep you dry. And then there's also a steel chain cover that's paint matched. And you know, again, it's got that traditional 
iconography on it and, and graphics. I just, I really like that. Plastic platform pedals, they should offer decent grip. It's a single speed. They've designed it so you can pedal backwards. So a lot of times you have like a coaster brake where pedaling backwards jams on the brake. In this case, it's a, it's a little bit more fun to ride because you can just move your feet, get a little bit of, get your blood flowing, a little bit of activity. But it does have a pretty solid front brake along with a parking brake, a little switch right there. So when I pull it, see the parking brake disengages. We've got these Promax rim brakes up here. You actually get pretty good stopping power. And since this thing isn't, you know, quite as fast, quite as powerful as some of the other bikes, um, I find that it works pretty well. And I say maybe not quite as powerful. That's because it uses a 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery pack instead of some of the other bikes these days are using 48 volts. And, you know, they've toned down the amperage that's being sent on this. So it is designed to be smoother. It's rugged. You know, it's really well built, that motor, but it's just, it's, it's not quite as fast. And again, once we get into the display, I'll talk a little bit more about how you can set that thing up. Um, they, they sort of record the size is about 13.5 inches. Uh, back at the side, I've listed the stand over height and some of the other dimensions. It's just designed to be approachable for almost anyone. You can see these really high rise bars. If you're tall, that's great. If you're a little shorter, you can angle them down and you can bring that, that seat down so it's no problem. Mounting it like this, standing over, it's comfortable. You're not going to have a problem, you know, hopping off in a, in a moment of panic. It's not going to be like the bike will crash on you or anything. And just coming back to, to some of the design points here. Um, you know, you can see these rear rims. They're pretty standard, kind of generic. But then when we get up to that front one, look at this. We've got the brass nipples and we've even got eyelets and that's designed so that the rim won't crack. It's designed so that you can tighten those spokes over time. And again, if you buy it completely assembled, it's all dialed in. They charge $350 for, you know, kind of combining the electric with the trike and shipping it to you as long as you're in the, I think it's the, the 48 states contiguous, contiguous US. Um, so that's, that's kind of neat. That's what you're paying for. And I think it's a pretty good service. The trike itself being priced at about 1523. I'd still consider this, you know, relatively affordable, especially with a lithium ion battery pack. It's a little bit lighter weight like that, longer lasting, a little bit more durable. The difference is between this trike, that's a little bit more full size, and something like the Liberty trike, is that this one's just more compact. This is almost more like a more mobility vehicle where you can get it through doors. I think it's only like 23, 24 inches wide versus 30. So you need a garage or something, you know, or extra large door to get this inside. You could just leave it out on the porch, you know, and just bring that battery pack inside to charge it or keep it away from those extreme heat, extreme cold days. That kind of climate can be tough on, on bikes. This one doesn't have the front fender, but it does fold. And in fact, it comes completely apart in two pieces. I think the battery or the, <laughs> the rack on this one's a little little flimsier because it's plastic but that reduces some of the weight surprisingly these are about the same weight between the two of them um, and I, I've had a blast riding them both but this one does feel a little bit more comfortable the larger 24 inch tires it just spans the cracks a little easier and it's just it feels a little flowier you know versus tiny little you know um, but I, I actually rode here with one of the the lead engineers at electric bike technologies this is Alec hey. How's how it going, you? man? Good. How are you? You know, I had a lot of fun, and I think yeah. we, we were both on these trikes kind of racing around, and we'll, we'll get some shots of that. But I like that you're able to, you know, whether you're a bigger bigger person or maybe someone who's petite, you could both get out there. You really don't even need to pedal. Um, this is a Class 2 electric bike. It's just got a twist throttle. That's kind of it. You just twist, and you go, or you pedal. And with that one gear, you don't have to worry about maintenance quite as much. You don't have to worry about just the derailleur or the chain flopping off any of that stuff it's just it just works and and i appreciate that and this is jason how's it going buddy hey, good. <laughs> yeah you're out of breath were you i'm out of breath <laughs> did you forget that it's an electric <laughs> bike it has a motor <laughs> i think you guys have used this one a little bit battery's bad well you know we've been out testing a whole bunch of these and we we're actually climbing the the dock earlier and i think we might do more of that i, I do apologize i've been losing my voice it's a little bit sick but I'm visiting these guys in Pennsylvania, and we're by this beautiful river. What is this place here? Yeah, this is the Delaware River. It's the Delaware River. And we're in Croydon, Pennsylvania. Cool. Which one did better? 
the Liberty trike or the? You know, I think I was outpacing him a little bit, and I just because the larger wheel diameter, right. maybe. But on the hill here. Which oh, one? we haven't tested it. We haven't done any riding yet. Oh, good. I'm here to see. Oh, good. Yeah, you're here to participate. Well, I have had a blast on on this one, especially um, yeah. just being a little bit lower energy today and cruising around with all our gear. You know, come on over here. We, I was I wanted to show off the the charger here. This is how you charge it. It's yep. a five amp. It only weighs about a pound and a half. It's really easy to chuck that back here along with some groceries. It's got a really good carrying capacity for either a larger rider or, you know, someone with extra extra gear and groceries. I've already gone over all the, the specs. Maybe it's a good chance to just hop on a couple of these and ride side by side. Do you wanna, you wanna sure, do the not? honor? So before we start off, maybe I can just go through the LCD real quick. And, and you know, we th thank you for the help getting that back on, yeah. Alex. So we slid the battery on. We've turned the key all the way to the right. You know, keep an eye out that this has a nice folding mechanism. A lot of times with, with these battery packs, I talk about, oh, you gotta leave the key in and keychain can jingle around a little bit. You can watch, watch out, you know, how you're pedaling. In this case, it's, it's really far removed from where you're pedaling, pretty far out of the way. And that's a solid case, so you can set stuff on top of it, the groceries and stuff, it's not gonna be a problem. Then we come up here to the display panel. You'd have to hold this M button for a couple seconds and it would come right to life. And one of the neat options that they built in is if you hold the up arrow here, for just a few seconds, the display has this great backlit, and it's it's sunny right now, so you can't really see it, but it's this really beautiful color. We've got five increments up here that designate how much battery capacity remains, speed, and even if we come way up here, you can still see how fast you're going, and you can see the power level, and those are the two most important things, in my opinion, especially the power level. And down here we have odometer. If we press that M button a few more times, it cycles through and it says, oh, here's your trip distance and your average speed. Here's your trip B, second trip, and max speed. And then it goes back to the odometer and, uh, and, and your speed there. So that's really handy. It's, it's very simple, but you can also, I think you can hold kind of the up and the down on, on these keys right here. And then you get into all kinds of different options. And th this system, it's a little bit more open that way. And part of it being open is the display panel. It, and you can get in there and you can um, program that curve what he's talking about is as you use a battery the voltage drops and you can use the the different voltage levels to sort of designate how full the battery is you don't want to be out there with a bike that is about 75 pounds and run out of battery so that's something you've really worked on and dialed in we're going to have uh, six batteries that are um, all UN tested and all uh, different uh, shapes here and capacities and we're marrying those with the 2017 system so it's going to be very accurate you're most people who are watching this right now are never going to get into this level of that custom yeah. but it is really cool and it's something that we were excited about um, having an accurate uh, measurement of what remains you know people don't want to get stuck out there well it's it's neat to see I don't want to spend too much time on the details, but if you could just yeah. briefly talk about the ones that yeah. people can adjust. I think there's a, I think there's another great feature, which is um, you can also control the max speed or the max power oh, output. Oh, that! Thank you so much for that. Huh? Um, yeah. So the the way this system evolved, uh, the the traditional trike here is probably the most converted trike that we've heard about for for the e-bike kit system, aside from the Worksman trikes, mm -hmm. and. A lot of the people we talk to want a way to go slower, either because uh, they have a disability or they have balance issues or they're riding on a bike path or they're riding with their family. So you have multiple options here for going slower if you need to. Okay. So you can limit your top speed in the display. You can also limit the maximum current output in the display all the way from 20 amps down to six amps. Nice. And then while you're riding, you can also fine tune the max power output from the throttle from between zero to five. Yeah, that's so, the most handy for people who, yeah. Yeah. you know, you don't want to get in. It's just level one, exactly. slower, less power. And you can even do that with the throttle running while you're moving. You can turn it down and you can turn it back up again as you go. So you can really fine tune how fast you want to go in order to, to stay safe and to have fun. This is really, a lot of people are riding this you know, on bike paths and around the neighborhood and stuff, so they don't need to go super fast, Yeah. but it's it's a good, comfortable bike for and, that. And also, I want to mention for the disabled or the elderly or whatever, it, you know, we have a lot of customers with special needs. We have a lot of customers buying this for their 90-year-old parent, that sort of thing. We have the ability also to work with you and hard code 
that sort of thing. So there's a speed limit in there. So n not even by accident would you get into level five and be doing a top speed. And Jason, you guys do so much custom stuff. I, we were talking earlier about being able to add a cadence sensor. So if you're someone who maybe your wrist or something or you want to challenge yourself and say this bike only goes when I pedal, you can put a you can put a pedal assist sense system on there and it wires right into that display. It's already pre-made. You could it sounds like you could even add some gears cuz this is a single speed right now and it I also wanted to point out, you know, talking about the wheels and the power. This is a really awesome torque arm that you've got up here. So, you know, this is a fairly large heavy duty motor and and this is just going to add extra strength this is the kind of thing that if you're converting a bike yourself it takes a little bit of extra energy and it's something that people might even forget but i love that you guys have taken that extra you want to ride you want, yeah can i can i follow you along i'll go on this just because i'm the heaviest here <laughs> well how much do you weigh i want to talk i should about. do like we should i want to do ride that one and you ride this one and then we'll trade see up. side by side see what happens okay i'm going to start on this one then um i only weigh 135 pounds so you know, I like to joke about it. People want to know how it how it handles, so we might get you on a little bit later. Let's see. So I'm just gonna start off. I'm in level five, and I'm gonna just accelerate and let you hear it and see it. There we go. There's our 14, oh, 15 miles per hour. That's kind of nice, you know, I got a little bit of a higher top speed here. It's really smooth too. This is a variable speed twist throttle. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate that reverse now. You do have to pedal backwards when you're in reverse. But, you know, there aren't very many electric bikes that even have that, so that's kind of a neat. I'm gonna go off road now, whoa. Oh boy. It's just so comfortable. I really like these cruisers, you know, you get your, your back straight and your head up and you can look around and enjoy the sights or talk to your friends a little bit easier. I'm gonna press that, that toggle button again and get it into forward. Now their displays are not removable, but they are just so beautiful. It's really thin, it almost looks like an iPod Nano or something. And, you know, they do adjust forward to back so you can reduce glare a little bit. And, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nice cockpit, um, all things considered. But keep your eye on that cable down there. That's one of the vulnerable areas. I don't think you have to worry about this thing tipping over, but if somehow you got close to just a fence or something and it, and it got snagged on that motor cable, that's a little bit, a little bit delicate. So just be extra careful on that. I think we're gonna zoom back and do a power test. Yeah, and Jason was saying the tide kind of came up here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Whoa. Got me up the boat ramp. Didn't have to go too far. You could hear it struggling a little bit more, but um, one of the other things is sometimes when you have a whole lot of weight in the back, it's a little easier to kind of spin that front tire like that. In my experience, it hasn't been a problem on this trike, but you can Sometimes, you know, get it up on two wheels when you're turning a little bit like this. So that's something you want to be just a little bit careful with unless you're kind of a daredevil. Um, it's not something that happens unless you're, you know, kind of purposely leaning, but it, it is kind of fun. It makes it a little bit more, more interesting. Here goes Jason climbing up that dock. Whoa, <laughs> giving me the two wheel action. Look at that. So that did pretty well. We have high tides, so we can't go down too well. Yeah. Uh, up 230 pounds, 6'1". 230 pounds. It's all muscle. All muscle. <laughs> I'll just turn up here. Get a little slippage. See, there's the slip, you know, I, that I one. I pedal just a little bit, I can go up this, this hill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the pedaling, that really helps. Even, it's just, 
you, you really make a difference with the pedaling. Do you want to trade me? Does that one have the coaster brake? This one has the rear brakes and the front disc brake. I kind of like pedaling backwards, so I was noticing on that one it was just... It's comfortable. Yeah. I would say that bike is more comfortable. Like I always say, that's like the Cadillac of upright. They both got, you know, something neat to offer though. If, if you're someone who's a little bit more petite, this is smaller and then, you know, just if you have to take it with you and pop it in the back of your car or something. This one would fit in a helicopter. I think yes, that's what this one? they have. That, that's interesting. See if I they land I, here. We know some helicopter pilots. Well, let's do uh, it, man. We, we had, uh, we we had a customer a few weeks ago that bought one for their plane. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, to, to pack in the back when they go on trips. I mean, this one's a lot cheaper to ship, isn't it? This one is cheaper to ship by design. Absolutely. We charge $98 flat rate. That really covers the cost of the, of the custom box yeah. that it goes in. Well, I want to see you yeah. riding on this one. You got this, buddy. A little bit of help. Power. No, I'm not going to do anything. Now, if you put this up against a brick wall, and we get this question a lot, so I want to demonstrate. You put this up against a brick wall, it will cut out. See that cut? Yeah. And then you'll be able to turn and go right back to full power. Is it designed not to overheat? It is absolutely designed not to overheat, and that's what it is. Okay. So if you're particularly lazy and you don't have the right expectations for this bike and you get on a hill and you think it's going to take you, you know, up anything, yeah. it's not like that. It's not a mobility scooter. It's not mechanical in that way. It's meant to really help assist. Okay. And you saw it take 230 pounds up that pretty, you know. It's, it's not bad. It's not t you know, it's, it's there. There's, a, there's an incline. Do yeah. you want to just ride normal speed with me? It'd be kind of neat to see just sure. a regular rider. And on the flip side of it, the faster you go, the more power you've got. Yeah. So oh. if, if you encounter a hill like that on a normal road, you're already maybe going 10 miles an hour, you'll fly up it no problem. Yeah, it's good What's have... really hard is starting off from a dead That's stop the thing. Anytime you're ahead. working with a motor like this, if you can give it a little bit of... Yeah, good to have some momentum. Yeah. Uh, can I get in front of you? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the behind shot here. It's the one the ladies are waiting the big for. Behind shot? <laughs> Let me take my shirt off. <laughs> cool. Now, now Alec is gonna be out of breath because <laughs> he has to pedal this. He's, one with less he's really flying. Oh my god, we're like a gang. Yeah, look really? at this, the trike gang. That actually reminds me, these kind of bikes, you can at least a dozen people, I think, buy them as like his and hers. Oh yeah. yeah. Couples. Uh, people come back sometimes, like a guy gets one for his wife, and then he comes back a couple of weeks later and gets one for himself. That's cool. But it, they make, I mean, it, it's fun to be able to just kind of cruise, you know, you don't have to worry about balance. Or... You guys, thank you so much. There's the reverse in action. Uh, Jason, uh, it's nice to get uh, like a close up look at, you know, a couple of, of different models side by side, the Liberty trike, we got the traditional right here. You know, it's everything that you you look for in an electric trike. There, you don't have too many options. So being able to get it at a decent price and have that solid warranty, not have to tinker around with it too much, just get on it and ride is pretty sweet. So. You know, as I mentioned before, I'll have all the specs back at the website, like the, the dimensions of this thing, the weight, the different colors and stuff. And, um, you know, I invite you to comment and sound off. Of course, when you're out there having fun riding around, be safe and I'll see you next time.